The speaker was a short, stockily built man whose name was William Jones. He was the captain of a small cat boat in which he and a party of men were sailing at the time the story opens. sir answered john towers and the boat was brought to a standstill captain jones reached out his hand for the object which he now discerned to be a glass bottle nothing but a rum flask that the men on the passing boat threw over he said but from an impulse of curiosity he reached out for it it was a rum flask, and he was about to throw it away when he noticed a piece of paper in it. He pulled it out, and on it read the following. January 1st, 1864. I am John Jones, who writes this letter. My ship is fast sinking with the treasure on board. I am where it is marked on the enclosed chart. Captain Jones turned the sheet over and the other side was a chart. On the edge were written these words. Dotted lines represent course we took. Towers, said Captain Jones excitedly. Read this. Towers did as he was directed. I think it will pay to go, said Captain Jones. Do you? Just as you say, replied Towers. We'll charter a schooner this very day, said the excited captain. All right, said Towers. So they hired a boat. started off governed by the dotted lines of the chart. They reached the place where directed. And the divers went down. with an iron bottle. They found in it the following lines scribbled on a piece of brown paper. December 3rd, 1880. Dear Searcher, excuse me for the practical joke I have played on you, but it serves you right to find nothing for your foolish act. Well, it does, said Captain Jones. Go on. However, I will defray your expenses to and from the place you found your bottle. 
I think it will be $250, so that amount you will find in an iron box. I know where you found the bottle, because I put this bottle here, and the iron box, and then found a good place to put the second bottle. Hoping the enclosed money will defray your expenses, some eye close. Anonymous. In a minute, the diver came up bearing an iron box. Inside it was found $250. It defrayed their expenses, but I hardly think that they will ever go to a mysterious place as directed by a mysterious bottle. And scary stories have been accompanying men for centuries. They have many faces and forms. But what is their purpose? Why do we enjoy being afraid so much? During our therapy, I'll try to explain. 